Yo, what's going on, everybody? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is Monday, November 1st, 2021. Oh, damn, we heating up, baby. We heating up. First day of November. Bitcoin about to go. About to go up. This is the time, man. This is the season, 2017. I remember thinking back. This is the time. 2017. Damn, thinking the 2021. Crazy that it's here. Crazy that it's here. All right, today, though, we're going to be looking at our DraftKings lineup where we did all right but i don't think we cash did we cash no winning zero dollars we did not cash at all so a couple bump picks here uh, a couple good picks though we had some good picks dude robert woods was only five percent owned and he had 20 points receiving touchdown rushing touchdown so that came through for us only three catches though what's going on with robert woods man I mean, he's doing all right, but just the volume doesn't seem to be there. Rams are high scoring, so there's that. But three catches? Damn. I'm expecting a little more. Our, our stack went well, though. Our Carson Wentz stack went well with Wentz and Pittman on fire. They definitely went on fire. Carson Wentz threw two picks, though. Even through that, he was on fire. But look at Pittman, dude. 26% owned. I guess uh, not as contrarian as I thought. Not that contrarian right there, the Wentz stack. But we ran Pascal. 1.8% owned. And nine points. Ah, you know, 4,400, nine points is not the worst. He didn't get a snowflake. But who did get a snowflake was Derrick Henry. I mean, what happened to Derrick Henry? Did he get hurt? Henry, foot, broke his fifth metatarsal bone during sunday's 34 to 31 overtime win at the colts damn he broke his fifth metatarsal bone whatever the hell that is a bone in the foot dude snapped it damn henry i think that's the second time this season where i picked somebody and they got hurt oh shit so he had a snowflake that really sucks because 34 points for the titans man henry would have been involved in a lot of that and i faded i was going to run the receiver aj brown i think it is faded his ass and it turns out he went off 34 points damn that was the pick but we went with derrick henry and yeah, you know, it's unfortunate. You can't really predict injuries. That shit's gonna happen. Our running back defense stack, Zach Moss. Is that his name? Zachary Moss. Yeah, Zach Moss out here. What did he do, dude? He had eight attempts for eleven points. Eh. You know. I guess. Bill's defense did good though. Ten points, two sacks, a pick. DFR, still don't know what that is. Uh, defensive fumble recovery, I'm guessing. I think that's what it is, but not 100% sure. Hunter Henry, you know, on his trip back to the Chargers, he only got one catch. Dude, come on, Hunter Henry. You got one catch on your revenge game back to the Chargers, back where you were drafted, where it all started? where they picked you they draft you out of college then they said nah you ain't good enough get the fuck out of here i guess they were right huh 4200 for hunter henry that's kind of pricey well i guess it wasn't worth it nine percent owned though that's pretty high for a tight end nine percent owned <clears throat> hey he didn't do it though and then what happened to calvin ridley dude calvin ridley total zero he was out damn the update says ridley personal announced on his personal twitter page sunday that he decided to step away from football at this time and focus on my mental health damn what are they trying to do are they trying to pressure this dude with the vax dude take this injection you slave take it Is that what they're trying to do 
trying to force him, huh? Yeah, we're all slaves out here, huh? Yeah, yeah, take this, take this big pharmaceutical drug, bro, or you're out. Nah, fuck that. Stand up, stand up. My body, your choice. Nah, fuck that. I don't know if that's what it's about, but you see this shit going across the world right now where governments and people in charge are forcing people to take this fucking injection that has no long-term study, no long-term data, but they want everybody to take it. Even kids. Isn't that fucked up? It's fucked up. Even one of the dudes on a panel, the FDA panel, they approved that shit and they were like, look, man, we got to roll this shit out to kids. Otherwise... How the fuck we gonna find out how it works? That's the only way. You know, motherfucker actually said some shit like that. You can go and look up the direct quote. A motherfucker actually said, we gotta roll this shit out to find out how it works, man. That's how it goes, dude said. Oh shit. And this is some dude supposed to be protecting the public. Nah, these dudes ain't protecting shit. They're just trying to get rich. It's fucked up. And it's hard to believe because Naturally, we just want to believe that nah, they're good. We could trust these people that are at the top and making the rules and shit. We could trust them to make the right decisions. People aren't grimy and greedy and just trying to make a profit off the expense of kids and, and death and shit like that. Nah, people wouldn't do that. But yeah, bro, they fucking do. Isn't that fucked up? That's crazy. You come to that realization, you're like, holy shit can't believe that shit so who knows if that's ridley's reason i know the nba is forcing people to take this shit and there are people standing up kyrie irvin i don't even know is that like the biggest profile name like more people need to stand up nfl i don't even know if the nfl are forcing it but stay strong man stay strong dude you know because once once the human population gives up the right to their body based on some sort of fear Oh, this pandemic you know then it's over then they're just gonna be rolling out pandemics every other year oh new pandemic y'all gotta take this shot oh next shot you gotta take the 10th booster you gotta take endless booster shots you gotta oh the next pandemic's here oh this shit's real dangerous bruh don't be selfish you gotta help humanity you know people gonna be using that shit like crazy dude it will be non-stop pandemics, endless fucking pandemics, endless medications that you got to inject, endless things that you got to put inside your body for the quote unquote safety of society. You know, it's all a fucking grift. It's all a bunch of bullshit. Fuck that. So if that's the thing for Calvin Ridley, shout out to you, my brother. Shout out to you, bro. Get the fuck off the plantation. Fuck these people trying to do this shit, man. They all getting rich. <laughs> That's fucked up, right? It's hard to believe. It really is hard to believe. All right, next up, we got the winner. Let's take a look at the winner then. Who won the Millie Maker? Who actually won it? It was this dude, Perez. They're not vexed. They know what's up. Their brain's working. Perez. And it's kind of cool too, because check Perez out. Perez. See how many lineups they had first. 150 lineups. God damn! Dudes be dropping dough. 3K out here every week, dude. 150 lineups. Well, hey, they, they went with the Wentz Pittman, Pittman stack. So it makes me feel slightly good that I picked a stack that won the Millie Maker. Wentz Pittman. They didn't have the other dude, Pascal, like I did. I guess that wasn't smart. So the Jets running back though, M. Carter, he went crazy. 6% owned, 32 points. God damn. He had a lot of fucking shit, dude. One rushing touchdown, 95 receiving yards and nine catches on top of his 77 rushing yards. So dual threat right there coming out of the Jets and the Jets actually won, damn. 34 31 they have same score as the titans colts game 34 31 uh this dude perez also ran e mitchell running back for the 49ers 22 points he had 137 rushing yards and a touchdown 
I don't know who any of these dudes are. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Cooper Cup also on fire. Damn, has Cooper Cup been in the fucking Millie Maker winner more than half of the winning lineups this year? It sure seems like it. He was 9,000. He's just going to go up. Next week, he'll be 9,200. I mean, he's just going to keep going up, going up, going up. Dude is in like every Millie Maker winning lineup, it seems. And then AJ Brown. Is that who that dude is? A Brown. A Brown. AJ Brown. Yeah, we were almost. We were almost on A Brown, dude. AJ Brown. But we slipped off of him at the last second for Derrick Henry. And we fucked up. Then they read Pittman. And uh, this other dude. Who's the tight end? Pat Freermuth. Pat Freermuth, dude. He had, uh, you know, a decent day, I guess. What was his price? 3600 You know, that's kind of expensive, too. He had four receptions on seven targets, 44 yards, and a touchdown. Probably the saving grace right here was the touchdown. And then our dude ran here. The winner ran uh, Godwin, Chris Godwin, in the flex. 31 points from the Bucks. Damn, but the Saints beat the Bucks, 36-27. That's a little surprising. I was feeling that. I was feeling a letdown game from Tom Brady. And I don't know if it was a letdown game, but... You know what they have 27 points they lost though so maybe a slight letdown slightly chris godwin had eight catches on 12 targets with a touchdown 140 yards so great game for godwin he ripped ripped and then the seahawks d so seahawks d did good 31 to 7 damn why wasn't i on the seahawks d and the seahawks running back Huh, Jacksonville. I got to pay attention to that. Jacksonville, dude. Jacksonville traveling all the way west. Damn. Seemed like uh, that was probably a, a smart play. Of course, in hindsight, you know, you always look at these lineups and you're like, oh, I should have did that. Should have did this. It's always like that. Got to try to focus that energy when you're picking the games straight up. When you're predicting these things. So there we go. Congratulations to Perez. Turn $3,000 into a cool $1 million. So congratulations to you. All right. That's it for this week. Catch y'all on Friday. Another chance at the $1 million. Let's get it. All right. Thank you all for watching. Later.